really excited for today's session. We were talking about how to supercharge your SEO strategy with Search Atlas. Um, and so I want to start off by saying, you know, I really believe we bring a lot of ideas, insights, and strategies on how to grow and scale your digital marketing agency. Um, as part of that process, we did what we call an SEO brain trust, where we brought together some of the best, most successful agencies in the seven-figure agency. And we said, hey, let's forget about the hype. Let's forget about you know the, the, the gurus. And let's look at what we're actually doing in our agencies right now to get our clients ranked in terms of on-page, off-page, citations, link building, press releases, the gamut, right? And so we went deep. We spent like literally several days looking at, at what each of the top agencies are doing. We compared notes. Uh, and then we, we compiled that into a session we called the SEO Brain Trust, which we shared with you guys here in the Seven Figure Agency. And one of, the, one of the tools that was mentioned by a lot of the people on the Brain Trust is Search Atlas. Um, and so Search Atlas is a tool we recently transitioned to at Plumbing and HVAC SEO as kind of the, 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 the catch-all tool that we can use to do so many different things. Uh, and so, um, you know, as I talked about it, a couple of the other people on the Brain Trust mentioned it. A lot of you were like, what's this Search Atlas? How do I learn more? Let me get the details. And rather than doing a bunch of one-on-one -on -one sessions, I figured let's get the man, Manic, on the session. Let's have him explain it. Um, and so, you know, there's going to be great insights on today's session. You're going to get new takeaways. But just to be completely transparent, this is to show you how Search Atlas can fit into your overall SEO strategy. And so there's going to be an offer. This is going to show you a tool that we think you should implement. Um, but just to be kind of super clear and transparent on the front end. So without further ado, let me know in the comments if you're doing SEO in your agency right now. In all caps, I just want you to type SEO. Um, whether you're doing it as your main service or you're doing it as a supplemental service, I really, yeah, a lot of you wouldn't be on today's session probably if you didn't do SEO at some level. Um, and I, I, I think we're always have to be looking at ways that we can elevate the game, that we can be a step ahead of the competition because at the end of the day, we have to deliver for our clients. We have to knock it out of the park for our clients. And so that's why I'm so excited to share Search Atlas with you. So I'm not going to hog any more of the air. Let's type MANIC in all caps if you're excited to hear from MANIC. Um, Manic, thanks so much for being here, man. Absolutely, Josh. Glad to be here. Welcome, Seven Figure Agency community. Great to see you guys uh, here with us today. Uh, looking forward to walking you guys through, I guess, the better part of the last seven years of, of my life. The work that we've been doing here at Search Atlas, super pumped. Um, and I'll also see you guys at the next intensive if you're going to be there, right? because we are also titans as well. As pumped a to see you guys there. Awesome. Awesome. So let me share my screen and let's kick this party off. All right. Uh, just tell me if you guys can see this. This is coming through. We're seeing the screen. Yep. Beautiful. All right. So without further ado, today we're going to talk about supercharging your SEO strategy with Search Atlas. I'm going to show you guys how our agency scaled to 10 million through Search Atlas and our technologies most importantly, how do we do it? It was through our blueprint. And I'm going to be unboxing that for you guys today. I'm going to show you all of it. And uh, if you guys have questions, I mean, you guys can ask me anything. So my journey began with this simple question, which is how does Google rank search results? It should be a simple question, but as we all know, it's not that simple. We started by doing correlation studies where we were looking at search results and unboxing them, analyzing them, with different metrics from Moz and Ahrefs and Majestic, the trustful citation flow metrics and content metrics, trying to understand how is Google actually ranking this information? And then obviously there are algorithm updates. How is Google changing the algorithm in response to how the internet's evolving? So we began by studying that and there were over a thousand search factors. Good luck trying to optimize a thousand things at once, right? I can barely keep, you know, 10 things in mind, if I'm going to the grocery store, just a couple of things I need to buy. So thinking about the world and SEO under the lens of a thousand different factors is not very productive. It really comes down to four pillars, okay? Every single thing you have ever heard about SEO will fall into one of these four pillars, okay? These four pillars are authority, content, UX and behavior, and technicals. The way that this breaks down is two of these are off-page. So authority and UX and behavior, that has nothing to do with your website itself. It's off-page signals. And the on-page signals are content and technicals, okay? We had to learn this blueprint through experiment, through trial and error. 
And we learned that SEO is math. It's not magic, right? There's no magic here. It's an algorithm. Google is a robot that is ingesting signals and data and using that to rank information. The aphorism that Google will tell you is just, you know, build a great website, create good content. Don't, God forbid, go buy backlinks or don't try too, too hard to AI generate your content. Just do everything all natural. And if you build it, they will come. But as we all know, that doesn't really work, okay? And the, this movie was not really that great. I'm not a big fan of Field of Dreams uh, and even less a fan of this message. In SEO, you have to have a strategy. So that's why we developed the Holistic SEO Blueprint, okay? If you guys want to copy this blueprint, just scan that QR code. You guys can get it right now. I'm not trying to hold anything back from you. You'll also be given a copy of this presentation. So don't worry about taking notes or screenshots. You're going to get everything at the end, okay? But this is the Holistic SEO Blueprint. This is the actual blueprint that we implement for our clients. And we've been doing this for seven years. Manik, sorry blueprint. to interrupt. Could you please share, click, click on the share button on the top right so we can see the slides better? Uh, you mean the slideshow button? Yeah. Yeah, we can zoom in a little bit if this helps. Thank you yeah, so much. Not, no much problem, better, guys. thanks. Cool. So... Through this blueprint, we've been able to deploy holistic SEO on a range of businesses. This was for Shutterfly, huge success for this brand. We've implemented we've implemented it at the local SEO level as well. Here's an instance of us using this for a very competitive legal term in Dallas. Here's the same uh, the same brand, but now this is for the web side of it. These are the results we're able to get for this DUI lawyer. Um, we've, we've been able to do just technical SEO and only technical SEO and seen huge gains on massive sites like U.S. self-storage. And we've gotten case studies and case studies for days. So I, before I show you guys the software, we go through it. I want you guys to be so bored of seeing these hockey sticks. I want you guys to write into the chat. I get it. Let's take the SEO to the moon. Just write SEO to the moon. And I will, I will spare you guys from more case studies, but we got to see enough people writing into chat. Okay. As you guys are writing into the chat, I'm going to show you guys more of these case studies. So what's common here is that this is us deploying holistic SEO for small sites and for large websites. We primarily work with enterprise companies, fortune 500s, massive e-commerce stores. But the beautiful thing about this blueprint is that when you execute it, it works whether you're looking at a GBP, a local business, or even at a, at a national scale for an enterprise website. So you can see a lot of success, a lot of hockey sticks. Obviously, some clients here have a bigger budget, like the big e-commerce stores like Reitman's uh, or like Shutterfly or the Olympic Committee when we worked with them. They had a massive budget. So when we have more budget, we can deploy results faster. But part of SEO, I believe in what I call minimal viable SEO. It's about delivering the right stuff first. It doesn't mean doing a bunch of the wrong strategies or over-indexing or maybe backlinks because those are expensive. It's about filling in the cracks, filling in the gaps that are going to move the needle the most. And so lots and lots of case studies there. I want to show you guys some, some local SEO case studies as well here. Here's a, a that same lawyer that was not even ranking in the top 20 we're able to get him to be 2.4 on average for his head terms of DUI lawyer, Austin. And we're seeing that those gains across the board for multiple keywords. The way we did it was holistic. It was a holistic SEO framework for that client. We've done the same thing. We've done other experiments where we've done cloud stacking, automated link building strategies. This was pretty cool. I published this on Facebook just yesterday. One week impact of automated link building and uh, pretty awesome results for this business. Able to do the same thing for other businesses, other brands. And it's not just US businesses, this works globally. We've also done other experiments where we were embedding knowledge graph information into landing pages and seeing massive gains. So when you guys, when I showed you guys that blueprint, okay, the blueprint is not the kitchen sink approach to SEO. Absolutely not. It's not, let's do everything. We had to get there by doing one thing and only one thing on a website and testing it and seeing, did that one change result in ranking improvement? We actually did this on our own test sites and we analyzed the results in Search Console. Here's an example of us changing only NLP and putting it into a hidden tag 
onto a page, uh, multiple pages on over five sites, and you can see the results after two weeks are indeniable, indisputable, ranking improvement from Google uh, pretty much right away. So this is basically peeling back the curtain on some of their content uh, algorithm factors. And that is now a part of our blueprint. Same thing with knowledge-based trust. We did the exact same thing. So how many people wrote in, let's take the SEO to the moon. Did we get enough? Are we ready for this? Yes. All right. right. There was lots. Yeah. Let's do it. Good. Perfect. So today I want to show you guys auto. Auto is the culmination of really uh, over seven years of hard work. Um, we've been working really hard to understand SEO and translate it into predictable results at LinkGraph and at Search Atlas for now over seven years. That's enabled LinkGraph to get to over 10 million a year in revenue. And Search Atlas has been growing very, very strongly. We've been able to produce these kind of case studies for lots and lots of clients. And so, as I mentioned, we delivered, we were able to build the blueprint through running these single variant tests, these experiments. And we ran them on page content, backlinks, local SEO, and even UX and behavior. Okay. So, my question for you guys is what if I gave you a, a instant, a button that you could essentially enable? to deliver the entire holistic framework for your clients. Would you guys be excited about that? And I'm not talking about an SOP. I'm not talking about a complicated list of instructions that you have to parse and maybe parts of it don't work. I'm talking about a, I'm feeling lucky button for SEO, for agencies. How many of you guys would be interested in that? Good. I guess a lot of yes, teachers. yes, heck yes, easy button, take my money. Yes, with all exclamations, yes, yes, yes. Press button, easy right, yeah. button. I, I think they're into it. I think they're into it. Yeah. So, so the the key here, guys, is is we're we're building something that is an automated system. Okay, it's all other people have done, like Href Semrush is those tools. I would call them reporting tools. They'll give you data, but they don't really do the work for you. They don't implement it for you. Search Atlas is really all about implementation. And as we pioneer more of this blueprint, we deliver that blueprint in an automated way through auto. So without further ado, let's dive into the product and I'll show you guys auto in action on the searchatlas.com website. So uh, the way that auto works is it is a holistic system that brings together all four rankings factors. So it starts with technical fixes, things like title tags. How many of you guys have had to painfully update title tags across the website in WordPress. Takes a while, right? So the beautiful thing here is that auto, the way that it works is it is a piece of, of JavaScript. You just drop it on the website. That's all you have to do. You drop it into the, into the theme, the template, and it enables it across the entire domain. You copy that code and you put it on the site and now auto has been installed. You tell it a little bit about the business you give it some background information about the company. Uh, you can plug in their social media profiles, so we have them. It also imports in data through Google Search Console, so it knows about the top pages on the website and the top keywords for those pages from Search Console. So it's able to give really good recommendations because it's actually drawing from first-party data. Okay, so you can connect in Google Search Console here. You can also link in the Google business profile if you have a GBP for the business. If it's a national brand and there's no GBP profile, you don't need to link it. But if you've got a local business, you can link it up. So then what Auto does is it uses that data, it custom trains the AI model to give better recommendations, and then can generate your title tags for you. So let's look at a page. Let's look at one of these pages. This was our old title tag. The title tag was avoid these SEO mistakes, boost your website's visibility, search Atlas advanced SEO software. That's a little long. This is tighter and I would say it's better. So I'm going to click enable. And now auto has enabled this new title tag for this web page. So let's go to the page. Okay. And I'm going to open up my detailed extension. And here you can see the title tag has been updated instantly in real time. Did you guys see that? Mm -hmm. I can also roll it back. So if I disable it, I just want to prove to you guys that I'm not 
pulling anything over your eyes. I'm going to refresh the page and we're going to go back to the old title tag. This one is too long. So here you can see we're immediately able to enable title tags across the website using AI. I feel pretty good about the suggestions I'm seeing. So I'm just going to click enable all in category. And what it's done is it's enabled all of these title tag suggestions across the domain and deployed them to the website. It's pretty easy, right? So now I've knocked out all my on-page title tag uh, implementations that I needed to do. Next, I'm going to click on This is on awesome. Meta. And they were getting lots of feedback. And you can ask one question because there was a question that just asked. Yeah. Uh, let's, see. Um, let's see. Herman asked, does Google read the Java modified content or the actual content? Google, so the way that, that's a, that's a brilliant question. I'm glad you asked this question. The that's way Herman, that I give him more credit. He's, he's a brilliant guy. Good job, Herman. So um, the way that Google works is they actually allow the client-side JavaScript to execute. They will run for our test show between three and four seconds. If you use the Google Rich Snippet tool to fetch that page, you will see what Google's actually seeing. And I promise you, Google is seeing the final result after auto executes SEO on the web page. So everything that we're doing to these pages, Google is taking them into consideration. And by the way, the case studies that I showed you, we wouldn't be seeing any result if Google wasn't noticing the changes we're doing, right? So obviously we know that this is working. I'm gonna do the same thing on the meta description recommendations. I'm gonna enable all of them. Now we've got meta descriptions where we were missing the meta descriptions. I'm gonna jump into one of the pages just to show you guys the meta descriptions are gonna be going live. So let's pop in here. Let's look. And looks like it's saying no meta. Just so you guys know, when you when you click deploy all in category, it goes into a background queue. Usually it takes between 30 seconds and a minute. If you immediate, if you pick a uh, change and you deploy it manually, like one by one, those get pushed in real time. So now when I go back in here, I'll see that description propagate. But usually you'll have to wait about a minute for our system and our queue to process everyone's changes, which happen in a, in order from first in, uh, first thing is processed first, basically. So pretty simple. Two, two quick okay. follow-up questions, if you don't mind, Manic. This is this is awesome. A lot of people saying, mind blown. This is amazing. How cool is that? Um, one question is, does this connect to WordPress and how does it work around a WordPress-based site? Oh, yeah. So um, so our vision for Auto was we wanted to, to build something that was CMS agnostic, which means it doesn't matter what CMS you're on, whether you're on WordPress, you're on Wix, you're on Squarespace, you're on Drupal, Joomla, like whatever you're using Shopify, uh, go high level, it will work on any web page builder. And if you are on WordPress, I'm going to show you guys the topical map tool in here. This topical map tool will allow you to one click publish your AI generated topic maps to WordPress. So if you're, on, if you're on WordPress, we've got an instant integration with that through our WordPress plugin. If you're on any other CMS, you still have to manually upload the content in there, but we're working on integrations with all major CMSs coming soon. Great question. Awesome. The other, the second question was, uh, a couple of people asked this, uh, page speed. How does that JavaScript on the site impact load speed? Excellent question. So the way that we did it, we knew that we needed to make this super, super fast. So the way that auto works is it's not doing any real-time calculations when someone lands on the web page. Auto has already analyzed the page and pre-calculated everything. So auto will fire when the page loads and it takes less than hundred milliseconds to respond. So it will not deteriorate your page speed whatsoever. It doesn't slow the website down at all. You can actually see the manipulations go into the page and you'll see them go live, you know, pretty much as soon as the page loads, it happens almost instantly. Awesome. Appreciate Great. you answering the questions because I think it helps people process and kind of, they might have that question yeah. and not be able to focus going forward. One last question here. Uh, Michael Goldstein asks, um, does it work with Rank Math Pro for schema or does it do schema on its own? Or like, how does it interact with those SEO plugins and things? Cool. So uh, if you have other plugins that are making updates to the website, what Auto will do is it will look at what those plugins are actually doing for your site, right? and find the things that those plugins are missing. So auto will, will actually be able to overwrite on top of the work that your other plugins are doing. If your plugin is doing schema already and you don't want it to do schema, it won't do schema. But all those plugins usually have gaps and they really, to be honest guys, 
we're an SEO agency first, right? We look at this from the lens of not like what crazy tools can we build, but how do we move the needle on SEO? So there's things that we're doing in here that no one else has thought of before, that Rank Math doesn't have, that uh, Yoast doesn't have, that no one else has really implemented at the scale in which we're implementing it here before. So it will be compatible with your other plugins and it'll kind of just inject those on top of whatever the base layer of your CMS is doing. Okay. Fantastic. These are great questions. Of course, the seven figure agency community is very elevated. You guys are, are super sharp. So love that you guys are asking these great questions. Um, and I see someone asking about the white label. Absolutely. The entire platform is white labeled. So when you go into your agency hub, all you got to do is plug in your, your DNS and information for where you want Search Atlas to run. And then your logo, your branding, your URLs overtake ours. And in every aspect of the platform, you're going to see your own branding, which reinforces for your clients uh, working with you and your agency. They're not going to even know what Search Atlas is. So if you've set up your white label dashboard, you'll actually not see even our plugin link here. It's going to be replaced with your setup. Okay. So auto is pretty much invisible. No one really knows it's powered by Search Atlas. Okay. Amazing. Awesome. All right. I'm going to try to blitzkrieg through some of the other technical fixes here. So um, missing image alt text. This has been the bane of every SEO's existence for so long. We figured out how to automate that. Um, we tried doing image OCR where we try to read the image and then kind of spit out what the image is. But we actually found out that that was really not a good strategy because what we're trying to do is, is not really talk about who's in the picture or what's in the picture. Here in this example, uh, this is a, a seven-figure agency member named Josh Blakely. He's the man. We don't want to say, you know, the best looking guy in seven-figure agency. We don't want to say that, even though it's true. Um, uh, we want to say, you know, something about the keyword we're trying to rank the page for. So we've moved in that direction where we're more interested in influencing Google than being true to the actual image. But you do have the ability to configure these settings however you want, okay? Um, it can also fix your, your link issues, redirecting links, uh, broken links. It can also inject your meta keyword tags into all the pages of the website. It can also uh, help you inject in headings. So one of the most powerful ranking signals for Google is finding the right terms inside H1s, H2s, H3s of the web page. We've actually found Lorem Ipsum content is able to rank number one on Google as long as the right NLP information is in H1s and H2s. If you don't believe me, I've got a screenshot of this I can show you right here. This is a page that was ranking number one in Google for rhinoplasty plano. Now, what do you notice about this text here? That's not English, <laughs> but it has, it has the right stuff where it counts. It's using the right NLP data and it has a good content score in search outlets. So that enables it to rank. So essentially what we've done is we've taken that learning and we've figured out how to inject H1s, H2s, H3s into the website for you, into the page so that it can actually boost those signals for Google uh, without requiring really any landing page updates. It doesn't, it doesn't require you to go in and, uh, and fix things. It doesn't break the layout. It just injects it into a hidden div that your design team can enable if you so choose. If you choose not to actually enable it from a design perspective, don't worry. Google doesn't care whether it's visible or invisible. That's like a secret. Uh, that we've proven time and time again. A lot of people uh, like to challenge me on that. And then that's why I've got these white papers like this, where I show you guys, like we've hidden this into the page and the rankings moved up. So proofs in the pudding, as my uh, grandma likes to say. Canonical links as well. It can do that for you. Open graph tags, Twitter tags. Okay, let's jump into some of my favorite parts of auto. And this is some of the really crazy wizardry that we figured out. Uh, just through doing this so many times for our, our customers. So one of the best strategies is you use the Google Search Console data. You find keywords that a page is ranking for, but that the page doesn't actually have written into it, right? So many times our clients, they're trying to rank for a keyword. Maybe it's like Plumber San Francisco, but their website doesn't even say Plumber San Francisco. So how are they going to rank? Well, we're able to use all of the variations of that and inject that into the landing page programmatically through our Google Search Console integration. I just clicked one button 
And I've deployed that across 126 pages on our website. And now that strategy has been executed and I'm done. Huge time saver. Uh, how about internal links? Have you guys had to do this manually? Maybe your, your VAs and your content teams have to go through blog posts to figure out, hey, the, we want to link our pillar page more so that our pillar page ranks better. What are the pages that are relevant that we got to do manually? Well, we can now do that automatically. You just click deploy all on these recommendations and Search Atlas is going to go and build those links into our blog content for us. Programmatically, one click. Like when I said, I'm feeling lucky. Now you guys see what I mean, right? Like you can just execute this across the entire website. Now, we wanted to do this years ago, but we couldn't because AI and the, and the machine learning technology just wasn't there yet. Like we weren't able to do this because the AI wasn't good enough. But thankfully, through the innovations of OpenAI and Claude and a lot of these other great AI companies, we've been able to take these heuristic strategies that we've learned through work in the field are effective and execute them intelligently using AI at scale. So we've been able to do that for internal linking opportunities. Now, also we've been able to figure out that we can do this for the semantic SEO part of Google's ranking system. What we used to do is we would go into our content optimization software tool in Search Atlas. We would import in pages or we would AI generate pages and look at basically the competitor content and figure out why the sites on page one are ranking that way and score them from a content scoring perspective. And then what we would do is we would manually go in here and optimize the content. And then we added the terms assistant to use AI to do that for you, okay? We figured out that we could actually do this through JavaScript and save your team the manual time of going through page by page and optimizing these pages manually. What we've done is we've basically done that in the background and allowed you to inject all of this NLP information into these landing pages. So you can take my case study, that's this case study, that showed massive, sometimes 20 position improvements of keywords across that landing page that, that the strategy was implemented on and do this across the entire client website in just a few clicks. It's pretty cool, right? It's amazing. So we figured out that this is a, a key part of content relevance on Google for how Google looks at content relevance and even just boosting these scores. I would say one of the fastest ways of getting pages ranking better on Google with the least amount of work was this strategy. Now that it's part of auto, you can deploy it seamlessly across all the important pages. Just to explain one small thing, all of these deployments that are happening here are based on your knowledge graph of what are the most important pages on the website. So you just select those in here. And once you select those in the keywords that, uh, that you're targeting, Search Atlas and Auto will run the calculations for you and allow you to deploy them to the website. We've even automated the question and answer sections. So um, one of the ranking factors we figured out that Google's using is, it's called knowledge-based trust. Basically, they're looking at how much factual content is on our domain. And we found within their patents that they use this thing called knowledge-based trust to evaluate how relevant websites are, not just based on their link building authority, but based on the actual content that's on those sites. They've taken the internet and organized it into these, what are called contextual domains. Basically like all the plumbing websites are in their own bucket and all of the, let's say law firm websites are in their own bucket. Uh, and, and they build the universe into these kind of knowledge domains. So the way you win is by building essentially kind of the, um, you want to be the Wikipedia of your niche. Okay. If you put that content on your website and you boost your topical coverage, your topic authority and your content relevance, your website will establish KBT in the eyes of Google. And KBT is a really important part of Google's helpful content system. They want to see that you've created helpful content that is trustworthy, that's authoritative, that is knowledge rich. And what we've been able to do is basically use AI to generate answers to these questions and deploy them into the landing pages of the website programmatically, okay? Super powerful, really, really effective at boosting rankings. Uh, and 
not just do we inject the uh, questions into the page, we also take care of the schema for you. So if you guys have ever seen the schema that's at play here, it can be pretty uh, cumbersome, pretty complicated schema markup, but we figured out how we can even deploy that schema into the page. When you look at the HTML, if you guys really want to nerd out on this, you'll be able to see all of the signature of auto in the landing page with these little uh, tags that'll show you where auto is actually optimized and injected content into your landing pages. So, okay. So those are some of the content optimizations, the technical optimizations. I want to talk about the new content strategies. Uh, one of the, some of my favorite case studies that we've ever deployed are our topic authority case studies. Now, when people talk about building topic maps, there's a little bit of resistance there. They're like, all right, well, how do I know I'm doing it right? And how do I know I'm covering these topics to completion? Well, what we've done is we've made this process a lot easier. First, what we're going to do is pick a pillar page on the site that we really care about. I'm going to go to our SEO topic maps page. Okay. It's kind of meta. I'm using a topic map about my topic map page. Here you can see all of the, the kind of pillar themes and categories uh, that are topically relevant within this page. We've got SEO fundamentals. We've got keyword research, content creation, and then here we've actually figured out uh, if you want to explore this topic in more detail. Here you can select them and they will add to your uh, topic map. And uh, basically every topic you select in here well, we're going to work on this, make it a little bit easier to zoom in and zoom out. Um, but whatever you select in here will be added to your topic map and uh, will be part of the next uh, kind of the next step, which is the AI generation workflow. So you select those topics that you want to AI generate, you click update, and now your topic map is right here in front of you. All you have to do is click write article with AI, and it will take your AI settings that were set up for your project, and it will AI generate that content using your language model of choice. So you can use OpenAI, you can use Claude. These are your two options. I would recommend personally use Claude. Claude has fewer AI watermarks. The content is gonna be more humanized and it's gonna be a lot stronger. Um, also the topic map, the way that it works is it will actually include the internal links to this pillar page for this target keyword for you. So what's what's actually happening here? As we're building out this topic map, we're reinforcing all this internal linking behavior to our pillar page. That internal linking uh, boosting to that page is what boosts its rankings in search engines. And by creating this content with all this knowledge-based trust and all this NLP information, that is helping us uh, boost our content authority in the eyes of Google. So that's how this topic map tool works. Uh, also, it's, in, it's fully integrated into auto, okay? Uh, we've also got schema markup generation. Um, I just want to jump into some of the GBP modules because I know that a lot of you guys uh, have a very active GBP practice where you guys have local businesses. And I want to show you how auto also helps us take care of some of the, the legwork at the GBP level. Uh, but before I jump into the GBP, let me just see, does anyone have any questions but anything I went over related to technicals or the content optimizations or the topic maps. Any questions? Just drop them in the chat. This is, this is Slick says, Nick, I think we're, we've been hitting the questions as we go. So, so keep, keep pressing forward. This is what, what I think is so impressive is it's based on your experience with massive corporations, right? But it also has been applied to local businesses. Um, and, you know, the fact that the tools in and of themselves, whether you use auto or not, are amazing, right? Like it replaces a, a suite of tools. What you've done with auto here is just like next level. Uh, so let, let's keep going. Can't wait to see how you're using this with uh, GBP stuff. Actually, awesome. uh, Ahmed asked if this works with Shopify. I know that's a couple of people asked about Shopify. Yes, absolutely. It'll actually work with any CMS. So all you got to do is copy this JavaScript pixel drop it into your Shopify template, and now auto's installed across the Shopify website, and it can implement its changes automatically, okay? Amazing, and, and you know, Lane, Lane Houck is a resident SEO expert. He's like someone we all look to for expertise with Signal Genesis. Lane, I'm glad you're on here, um, and, and he's a big advocate of Search Agile. So to me, that tells you a little bit of something about the quality of this platform. But um, he's asking if you can explain the integration of auto, 
SA, which is Search Atlas and um, CS, G, GSC, Google Search Console. GSC. Absolutely. Okay. So uh, essentially what Auto has done is it's taken our entire Search Atlas platform and taken all these tools that used to be separated. We had site auditors for site auditing. We had content optimizers for content optimization. We had keyword research content planning tools to help us design our content strategies. Essentially, Auto has taken the best of Search Atlas and unified it all into one workflow agencies can use to deploy all of the advancements in the, in the holistic SEO blueprint for their businesses in one tool. So you don't need to use keyword research tools now. You don't need to use site auditors or content optimization tools. You can do it all in here in one workflow for your team. You just train up your team. They learn how to use this system and they can execute it across really any kind of campaign, whether it's an enterprise brand or a local business, all of it. So uh, and great. of course, yeah, uh, the no, GSC part. Yep. Yeah, the GSC part is really important because uh, the way that auto works is, is we want to get the best possible data that we can about the site. The problem with third-party tools like your Ahrefs and SEMrush and other tools like that is that they're, they're crawling ranking data and sometimes it's months before they can update the ranking data. And even then, their database of keywords, as big as it is, it's, it's, it's actually kind of on par with our database of about 5 billion keywords that we're tracking actively your website ranks for maybe 2X or 3X the amount of keywords as you'll see in those tools. If you go to Search Console, you'll see way more keywords in there. So we wanted to rely on the best first-party data we can get access to, and that comes through Google Search Console and through the Google Business Profile. And so good. Yeah, I love that. Because we can we connect with those data sets, we can also automate your client reporting. Whoa. So- what this is, is this is essentially an automated report that's generated and connected to auto. So it'll bring in your first party data, your Google Analytics data, your Google Search Console data. Uh, it can even bring in our heat map data so you can see before and afters for the heat maps. It'll also bring in the Google Business Profile data. I, I got to refresh this. Looks like some of these charts didn't render. Yeah, uh, the GBP data and presents all of this as a static report you can share with clients. And once you set up your white label, uh, it's, it's shareable. Now, you can configure this report any way you want. You can delete modules. You can add modules. One of the really cool modules in here is our integration with task boards. So I know a lot of you guys, we've been moving toward using task boards for client-facing reporting to show our clients what we're doing. Well, what we wanted to do is give you guys free task boards for all your clients in the report builder, those are actually being powered through our partnership with Notion. And we can push all of the auto tasks that are completed into the Notion board for you. So you can report to your client all of the work that's been done through this automated engine without having to really have your team do a whole lot of extra manual work, building spreadsheets or building Google Docs. All this is automated and it connects into our rank tracker, our heat maps, Everything on the Search Atlas platform is all integrated into here. So good. And, and Lane, thank you for for saying that. Um, I, I I didn't want to uh, say uh, you know say that unless you were comfortable, but I appreciate you sharing that with the community here. Uh, it's been a, a great. Um, uh, it's been awesome working with Lane and his team. They're brilliant in the field of SEO, and we really uh, love the exchange of of sharing ideas with them and and them getting under the tent of what we're working on and looking forward to more collaborations. But Lane's big white label agency has fully dropped SEMrush and they're running fully on Search Atlas. So um, super exciting. And hey, real uh, quick, real quick. And I definitely, I, I love what you're doing with the reporting. I love the idea of having tasks because the client always wants to know, show me the data and what did you do for me lately, right? And, and sometimes you do things, but you never mark it. And so it's not communicated back to the client. But if you can pull the stuff the AI is doing, plus the automate, plus the things you're manually doing and display that to the client and say, wow, you guys are doing all of these things for me. They're like, okay, I'm getting value for my investment in this monthly retainer. Yes, they see it. They believe it. It's real. Josh, as you like to say, the number one reason clients churn is perceived indifference, right? Yep. This system allows the clients to know how hard the agency is actually working to boost the SEO of the website. And we're working on AI storytelling. So based on all the tasks on the Notion board, we're going to generate weekly 
AI summaries of the campaign that your account management team can copy and paste and send to the clients. So that way, every week, all of us can get awesome client-friendly summaries that we can just paste and send via email to our clients and, and give them that frequent touch point that shows them just how active we are, how hard we're working to boost their SEO results. So good. So a couple of people ask this question. I just want to interject real quick. It's a good people ask. If you take the, the script off, the auto script off the site, does the site revert automatically back? Or like what happens to the updates that it's you know implied? Yes. So this is really important, guys. Um, now, the way that auto works is if you deactivate the JavaScript technology, all of the on-page changes will roll back. Okay. This is actually, uh, it's kind of done by design. I think it's actually really good for agencies. Uh, it allows us to make SEO part of our, our SaaS offering for how we install SEO onto the client's website. And if they leave us, okay, let's just say if they leave us, it's not going to be so good for their, for their results. Auto is a, it is a great boon that we're able to automate so much of this. It's such a cost-effective price point for the clients. If they uninstall it, all the changes are gone. If let's say they want to deactivate working with you, if they, if they cancel their contract, we're going to give you guys two options. One, turn off all the changes to the site and revert it back to the way it was pre-installing auto, or you can give them a period of time where they will continue to be able to get the changes that we've given them for a period of up to one, two months, after which the changes will fall off. So it gives them time to make those changes manually if they so choose. But realistically, to make these changes manually is so tedious and cumbersome that there's I, I don't know how, how they would actually be able to implement that. Um, but it is kind of a good guy way to you know end the engagement. This is part of the if, reason you pay us a monthly fee to handle this stuff for you, right? And if you stop paying, right. a lot of the stuff's going to go away. And, and you know, eventually your rankings are going to drop. That's just it's part of why you pay us a monthly fee for this stuff. Exactly. We allow you guys to continue giving them the changes that were made up until that point as a community service to you guys, uh, because we try to do things the right way. It's up to you guys how you want to handle it. If you want to roll the changes off, or if you want to let them keep it for a period of time and give them like an Excel spreadsheet with all the changes and just like pass them off that way. But yeah, I think it's important to give them something that way it doesn't feel like, like you just pulled out everything that you did. Cause there's a, there's a gray area there, right? Between you know, we took what we did for you while you're paying us and we took it away. But I think if you have a way, like Julian said, to explain that in the agreement and also, hey, look, you know, if you want to re reapply it, here's a here's a spreadsheet, go figure it out, which they won't know what to do with. Um, exactly. Cool. Exactly. All right. I, I don't I want to belabor that point. Let's let's keep the momentum going. But good questions, guys. Yeah, awesome questions. Um, okay. So let's talk about some of the GBP optimization. So one of the things that, in our, in our blueprint, we've been testing this for a long time, is the impact of Google business posts on rankings. And one thing that a lot of us have observed is that if you slow down the GBP post, if you stop, you'll see the rankings can sometimes start to degrade. You'll see the heat maps start to go more red, get red shifted. One of the ways we can overcome that is by scheduling our GBP posts for the businesses far into the future. So what Search Atlas allows us to do is to AI generate images that are actually geotagged to the business's location. So you don't have to manually do that. It will do it automatically and you can just give it a prompt. So whatever prompt you wanna use, it will generate that image using mid journey. So it's an incredibly high quality AI image generation backend that we have connect to mid journey. You can use that to generate images for the GBP posts. You can also AI generate your content in here and schedule it for a date and time that you want to schedule the content for in the future. Or if you want to post it immediately, you're able to post it right then and there. And it will uh, it'll get actually added to Google's queue. Google reviews it. Uh, if you uh, put certain pieces of information in GBP posts, you guys probably know this, that if you have like phone numbers in the GBP posts, that Google will sometimes not allow that post to go through. So we have some validations in here that will help your team avoid doing that in the AI prompts so that your team will be able to more likely get that content automatically published to the GBP without a lot of extra fuss and work. So it in includes the GBP posting technology. Uh, it'll also include AI Q&A suggestions. So once you hook up the GBP, 
it will import in all of the existing GBP posts from that business. So whatever uh, whatever questions people already asked that weren't answered, those will be filled in and auto will AI generate a response to the questions. So uh, here you can see, this is one of the AI posts that we published. Uh, this went live five hours ago. That was published through auto. Uh, there are also some questions in here. You can see these questions. These questions were processed also through auto. Uh, sitting on the business, it will uh, it'll provide different questions and different answers. It also looks at the competitors in the area to see what questions are they answering to see the AI prompt to give it better and higher quality questions um, in the generation. Okay. And then finally, unanswered reviews. Uh, if you have any reviews that are left on the business uh, that are not answered, uh, auto can also take care of those for you. Uh, you can uh, basically give it an AI prompt that you want it to use for different reviews, whether it's a one, two, three, four, or five star review, and it will automatically respond to reviews for you if you want it to. So it takes care of that as well. So that'll make, um, make things uh, also just so more automated and easier for our teams so we don't have to be managing that manually anymore. Um, I see Sebastian, you had a question about, do you need to have a mid-journey subscription outside of Search Atlas? Our philosophy is we wanna make this easy for agencies. So you don't have to have any other subscriptions to use Search Atlas besides Search Atlas. You don't need to plug in API keys. We don't do that. I think that's super clunky. Um, you can just roll with our subscription that we're paying for. And as their innovations, as their updates to the models, we try to always use the best in class model. Uh, we're also able to get sometimes better deals or better opportunities because of the scale at which we're operating. So for example, we've got a partnership coming with Grok, G-R-O-Q. Uh, they're one of the leading providers of open source LLMs, uh, which are like 10X cheaper than OpenAI. So for teams that are executing Search Atlas at massive scales across hundreds and hundreds of, of clients, the way that we are at LinkGraph, uh, or quantum agency, for example, that Lane, Lane is using, um, we're going to be able to cut those AI costs down. Um, I was looking at our AI bills last month, and they're getting pretty eye-popping. So uh, for agencies that are kind of doing this kind of at, at huge scale, I think you guys will be able to see a lot of cost benefits to using Search Atlas. And if you're on the pro plan, we will allow you guys to put in your own API keys so if you want to just roll with your own API keys, that's fine too. Up to you. We're not really trying to monetize AI. We're not a wrapper around AI. We're just trying to bring you guys the best possible strategies that will move the needle. We're not here to like nickel and dime over all those, you know, silly things like our AI content generation. We pretty much give it to you guys at cost. It's about $3 for fully formed articles, which is unheard of uh, in, in the industry. So, okay. Um, all right. Now. Um, I'm going to jump over to, to the authority building portion, which is one of my favorite pieces of this. Uh, one of the challenges of, of having an agency and executing SEO across uh, hundreds and hundreds of clients is figuring out how do you do authority building for them? As we know, link building and authority building is a really important part of our holistic blueprint. Uh, Google uh, uses what's called PageRank. It's named after Larry Page, right? One of the founders. Uh, they still use a modified version of PageRank. It's still a part of the algorithm. Uh, we've done a ton of research on uh, on the internet itself and how backlinks pass equity from site to site. The reason we called our agency Link Graphs is because we were nerding out on research and trying to study uh, the Link Graph of the internet. And in every correlation study we've always found, authority is one of the most powerful ranking signals that Google uses in the algorithm. We've acquired uh, multiple PageRank assets. We acquired a EDU, um, an EDU network of websites that are all kind of DR70 plus uh, that allow us to publish the sites like harvard.edu, duke.edu, which is my alma mater, and some other really awesome EDU websites. Mm. Uh, we also own Publication Media, which is our exchange for publishers where we've published uh, over 230, uh, we have over 230,000 publishers that are active on our platform. And we've published and built links of over 140,000 backlinks to date. Uh, Capital-wise, that amounts to over 15 million and growing quickly of capital we've deployed for link building. So we have a lot of insight into how link building works. And we do a lot of experiments testing 
all kinds of strategies, automated link building, PBNs. Ooh, I hope no one from Google's on this call. They'd be really upset to hear me say PBNs, but they work. So of course we use them. Um, and all kinds of high authority websites. And link building is one of the most powerful mechanisms of driving authority for, for our websites. How many of you guys have actually done some form of automated link building? Just drop in the chat if you guys have used Cloud Stacks before. I would love to know. Let us know, let us know. Yeah. A couple of yeses, a couple of like maybes, a couple of little bits. Yes, okay. Roger. No. There you go. Some yes, some no. Okay, great. So great, great to know where we stand. So let me explain this strategy a little bit so you guys kind of get a better picture of it. So we discovered that we could create content and publish it to, uh, to cloud sites such as Azure or AWS or Google Cloud or GitHub. And the number of sites that we figured out that we can upload content to programmatically is growing. But these sites we've known, we've quantified that when we create AI generated content that we publish to these sites and then send those links into the indexers, we're registering sometimes crazy improvement in rankings. Uh, in one of our experiments, let me see if I have that cloud stacks experiment in here. Looks like I didn't put it in here. I can, I can show you guys later, but basically massive improvement in rankings to these cloud sites. So we've integrated cloud stacks into auto. So for any web page uh, within this web, this domain and any target keyword, auto is going to AI generate content for you and publish it to all these sites and get them indexed. So that let's, let's look at an example of one that's already ran here. You can see AI generated content that was published to all these cloud sites and index successfully on Google. So we know that Google has indexed those links and they're counting toward our SEO. Uh, every auto activation, when you activate auto, we're gonna be giving you guys uh, a authority building um, module that's called Hyperdrive. Hyperdrive includes three cloud stacks and it will also include a press release that's gonna be powered through Signal Genesis. So in auto, we're gonna be integrating with Signal Genesis and AI generating the press release for you and pushing it to Signal Genesis. Signal Genesis has done a great job of building an amazing press release distribution platform um, that is really built with SEO in mind. Um, they, they do a lot of work to get that those press releases indexed by Google and drive signal generation around them so that they will move rankings. And we verified that. So one of the new modules that's coming into Hyperdrive is going to be uh, press releases. Here you can see um, some of the new models that are coming. The press release module is right here. Uh, in the next, I would say, probably two to three weeks, you guys will see that appear in here. And uh, that will be part of Auto Hyperdrive, as well as some of these other features that are coming soon. Um, so I, I just want to ask a question uh, around authority building. How many of you guys have found authority building is a struggle for you guys at your agency? And you guys have been looking for a automated system to get link building done for all your clients at scale. Yeah. Nick, Nick saying, yep, Josh, for sure. Roger, totally. So we've really struggled with that. Um, we've had to find a lot of solutions for it. And one of the things we're really excited about now is that we can really drive for every single client link building and, mo and move the rankings on three target landing pages that really matter for their business every single month. So each month when you come back in here, you're going to get a new set of cloud stacks that you can use. So someone might be saying, okay, what if I've got a bigger business and I need more like five cloud stacks or 10 cloud stacks? You're going to be able to top up those cloud stacks at a price of probably around $20 per stack. And each stack includes 13 sites. So I just want you guys to know how cheap that is. If you Google cloud stacks and you look around on the internet, you're going to find people selling cloud stacks for about $150 to $200 a pop. So we figured out how to burn the cost down um, about 80% cheaper than anyone else uh, out there on the internet. So we're doing that for you guys as a service to agency owners to help you guys deliver the blueprint in a more cost-effective way. Um, most of that 20 bucks just goes to covering some of our costs around the AI and the hosting costs. So I hope you guys are excited about that too. Um, I see Sebastian's asking, 
are the cloud stacks per client install or, or per agency subscription? Great question. So for each auto hyperdrive activation, you are going to get three cloud sites that you can use. I'm sorry, three cloud stacks you can use across any auto project. So it's up to you how you want to deploy it. But the more auto activations you have, the more of the authority building playbook you're going to get that you can use wherever you so choose to use it. So if you've got some sites, let's say an easier business that's already seeing results and you want to move some of those cloud stacks out of that business into another business that's struggling, you're going to be able to do that. And the same thing will be true for the press releases. And Lane, uh, Lane actually is, is, is hitting on a really important point. Lane, thank, thanks for that. One of the key secrets for why this works is that we're not just using the NLP data that I was showing you guys in here. We're not just using this NLP data uh, for our landing page content. We're actually using it for our backlinks. Mm -hmm. And so one of the ways that we're juicing up the impact of the backlinks is by making the backlink filled with all the NLP signals so that when you get that backlink, it's going to have a much more powerful impact because the content relevance between the backlink content and your landing page is a one-to-one. -one. That we found is a huge ranking factor. Okay. So um, yeah, I'm just looking at the time. Looks like we've got just a couple minutes left. Uh, sh uh, should I start wrapping up? Yeah, I think so, guys. This is this has been great. I, a lot of people are like, I have to hop, but I really want to know how, how to sign up, right? So um, let, let's get to that. Give us a let's give Manic uh, some feedback on a scale from one to ten. You know, one being not great, ten being this was awesome. You're excited about it. You think this could be a, a game changer? Uh, I see some twelves, some elevens. The Grand Slam, two thousand says Sophia. Uh, all right, Thank cool. They're they're loving it. So let, let's let's get to the offer specifically for um, you know for these smart agency owners. Awesome guys. Okay, so um, so because it was Josh's birthday yesterday, uh, and because we're such a huge fan of seven figure agency in the community, uh, we never discount our plans. We never ever do that. The last time we did that was maybe over a year ago. So please don't tell everyone that we're doing this, but we're gonna do it uh, just for you guys. Uh, our, our offer today is, is you have two options. If you guys, if you guys are excited about this and you want to get started on this right away, we're going to give you guys a 20% discount on our pro plan and include in that pro plan, three auto activations. And you can, uh, take advantage of this and use this until the 31st of the month. So you guys got 10 days. If you want to do this, um, you just scan this QR code. Uh, it'll take you to an activation page, you activate, and our team will set you up. We have a, a wait list of right now 1,800 and I think 50 agencies or people that want to use auto. So there's a massive wait list. You guys are not going to have to wait in the wait list. You guys will be moved to the top of the wait list and you'll be onboarded for auto uh, beginning next week. So as you guys activate this, you guys will be added to the top of the queue and our team will be uh, onboarding you for auto and getting you guys set up for auto um, next week. Okay. So uh, that's option one. Option two, if you still kind of want to take a poke around and learn about the platform, uh, we'll, we're happy to give you guys an extended free trial. So to take advantage of that, just scan this QR code. It'll take you to a, a landing page where you can activate Search Atlas and um, and you'll be able to use it for 30 days uh, before having to sign up. So plenty of time to, to poke around at the tools, get used to them, check them out. Um, just want to show you guys super quick how... Uh, search Atlas and auto compare. Oh, if somebody happens to be listening to this, like, what is there a URL that they can go to? With, like, is the is the redirect URL go to that same place or no? Yes. Uh, if you Hello. like, go ahead, Fidan. I'm so sorry to interrupt. Hello, everybody. I'm gonna just add two URLs in the chat. One of Perfect. them is our 30 days free trial link directly. So you guys can sign up for the 30 days free trial for seven figure agency. And second one will be the limited time 20 percentage of discount. I will enter both of them in the chat. Fantastic. Thanks for dropping the URLs. That's perfect. Thank you. And, and guys, if you're already on Search Atlas and you're a part of Seven Figure Agency and you want to take advantage of auto, just go into the live chat and just let us know, hey, I was on the call with Monica and Josh today uh, and the Seven Figure Agency SEO Brain Trust. And I want to uh, jump into auto and uh, our team will move you to the front of the pack as well. So no worries there. Um, and if you guys are, are trying to understand how does Search Atlas kind of compare as far as a platform goes, 
it is a lot like, the, like I would say go high level for the digital marketing world. Um, we built this for agencies. And so we realized we needed to have a solution for all components of holistic SEO. So through Search Atlas and through Auto, you'll be able to cancel a couple thousand dollars worth of subscriptions if you guys are paying for some of these tools. Uh, and again, big difference between Auto and these other platforms is that we're, we're action oriented. We're all about automation and implementation. We're trying to do the work for you and we're white labeled uh, by default. So uh, this is really a platform to empower agencies and to supercharge agencies. That's what we're trying to do here. Uh, more than anything else. So it's been super fun. Uh, I'll leave you guys, I'll keep the screen up here in case you guys uh, didn't have a chance yet to activate one of these two offers. So good. And if you want the free trial at sevenfigureagency.com slash search Atlas, uh, Fidan just put that into the chat. And then there's another link that takes you straight to the discounted rate uh, and to get in on auto early. If you have any burning questions while Manic is still on here, we can definitely answer some more questions um, again, we made the transition initially just because go back to that other slide there, um, the one where you're showing all the tools. We were like, man, you know what? Not only is it not cost effective to be in like 17 different platforms to do this stuff, it was time consuming and not really productive. Like we found out that we had Surfer SEO, and we had SCM Rush, and we had AH Reps, and we had all these different tools. And the team was keying in nine different places and looking at nine different things. Um, and just the, to streamline the operation and have one place where you key the client and you've got all their information, you've got the strategy plus the cost savings against these tools, it was a no brainer. And that's why our team made the switch. We are super excited about now, not just using the tools, but also having the, the AI automation behind that to drive strategy and outcomes for clients. Um, I think this is truly the future of, you know, if you want to be on the cutting edge of what's going on with SEO right now, um, Search Atlas is clearly where it's at. Absolutely, guys. Appreciate that, Josh. Um, and, um, you know, we, we're auto, I would say is it's a, it's never going to be over. It's never going to be done. We're always adding in new modules to it. We're working on some cool stuff called dynamic indexing, where we're automatically getting your, your content index. We detect it's on index indexing it for you. So you guys are going to, going to be a part of a wave, a crescendo here of new innovation happening in the SEO landscape and not just SEO for Google, also SEO for the large language models, because as we're seeing the shifts that are taking place here, we want to make sure our businesses and our clients show up in ChatGPT and in Claude. So we are, are already thinking about the future of how the landscape is evolving and shifting, and we're already going to be there. When the shifts happen, we're going to be ready for that, and your agency is going to be ready to evolve and adapt into the next landscape, how, whatever that, that form looks like. You're going to be ready for that because that's what auto is all about. Uh, yeah. Once we conquer okay. SEO, we'll also be moving on to paid ads. So we'll be automating paid media uh, on, on AdWords as well. Um, and, and you'll see we're going to be integrating reporting for Facebook and for Google ads into the report builder as well. So you guys are going to see a lot of updates coming through Search Atlas. As you guys know, if you're already a Search Atlas subscriber, there is a massive feed of new updates that are constantly happening uh, always. So uh, you're not just sort of getting into the platform as it is today, you're getting into something that's gonna continue to evolve and uh, and get better. Um, so stay tuned on, on, on those updates too. Manic, amazing job with this tool. Thank you so much for taking the time to break this down for us and to make a great offer uh, for, the, for the community. Guys, any questions on Search Atlas, SEO strategy, any burning questions on whether this is the right platform for you at this point, feel free to drop in the chat or if you want to unmute, you know, by all means, we can have a quick conversation. Lane says the support from the Search Atlas team has been stellar. He's really helped with the onboarding migration. Yeah, these guys are, these guys are great. It's not just a cutting edge platform. This is great support and service behind it as well. Thanks for that line. Yeah, we, we do offer nearly 24 hour onboarding. So if you guys, uh, if you guys want your team to adopt search Atlas and you're not really sure what that looks like, we do have a real time onboarding support room where you can have uh, your team members go and activate search Atlas, uh, get help with whatever it is that they need help with directly from the homepage. So um, I'll just, I'll just add this uh, just, you know, as a fellow software, 
um, founder, the, the support we've gotten from the Search Atlas team has, has actually called us higher. Like I'm I'm going, we've got things that we've got to up our game on support. And we do a pretty good job of support too, but I, I've just been unbelievably impressed and thankful for the the support we've gotten because the migration of something like this is is not a small thing either. So, right. uh, you know, it, and it's important that it goes well because there's so much riding on it. So, Mon Monica, thanks again for your your team and all the help you've given us. That's hey, Lane, while we've while we've got you on the video, like again, you're one of the the top thought leaders in the seven figure agency community that we all look to for SEO expertise, and most of us use Signal Genesis. Um, so. The fact that you're behind this and you believe in this, tell us a little bit about what you like about Search Atlas for the for the other listeners that are considering it. I mean, I think you you summed it up pretty well, Josh. But I'll reiterate it. It's number one, having all of this in one place. You know, the 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 fractions or the fractures that happen with multiple softwares, and then the 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 inefficiencies that, that come from that. The the inability of our team members to actually implement using multiple software tools, the confusion that comes from all that, uh, you know, that's uh, that's that's one whole com component to this is just the integration of multiple things into one unified platform, obviously auto, uh, as the, the automated implementation of all this with real data behind it, like, you know, the data is really important as it and that that data is flowing into the content generation that data is flowing into your your auto implementations of the on-page um, improvements. Um, I mean, my gosh, the ability for stickiness and, and a retention for us as agency owners, right? I mean, you know, we did this with Signal Genesis too. Like if you cancel and the agency just, you know, clicks delete, the media room goes away. Um, and so this is like taking that times 10 because you have so much implemented through auto at the page level. And I mean, I, I'm astounded at the the retention level that this actually introduces, and I did put a little snippet of TOS in there because we actually have to put this in our terms of service. Everyone, yeah, that was super helpful. I'm glad you glad yeah. you posted because it was already coming up. Like, oh, how, we got to make sure we explain that to the client that this stuff might go away. So that was that was right on top of the ball. Yeah. So if you include this in your in your TOS and explain this up front in your prospecting closing sessions. You have every reason and right to you know hit the delete button or the you know if they cancel on you and. What that will do to their SEO is, you know, is it will be devastating. So it will really validate what the agencies are doing for, and then the reporting on it, like the task level reporting, and then the high level reporting with the integrations of GSC and GBP, like, and that's all in one place. Like, I just, like, uh, it was, to me, it was a no brainer. Like, you know, we, as we talk with, and we're exploring it, the search atlas and, you know, I was really evaluating like, hard because we're, we were deeply integrated into SEM rush in many different ways. And then also using other tools. Um, and so um, I, the more I dug, the more impressed I was. And sometimes, and I think oftentimes when you get into software, the more you dig sometimes, the less impressed you are. Uh, and it was exact opposite with Search Atlas and Monica and his team. So I, it has my highest recommendation. It's an unbelievable platform. Of course, there's no, no perfect software, but that's what makes also Search Atlas so amazing is you know, they don't, they don't make excuses. Uh, if something's, you know, not working or whatever, they're just like, Hey, thanks for letting, letting us know. And then their, their team is on it in, in a flash. So, you know, from all those different angles, I, I for, for us, it just was a no brainer and we're saving money too. So on top of all the integrations and efficiencies, <laughs> we're saving money on top of it. So I don't know. I think that's win, 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 win all around Lane. Thanks for speaking up. And if you don't mind, stick around just in case anybody has any questions that might be relevant um, that you might want to chime in on. I have two questions for sure. And then guys, if you have follow-up questions, let us know. It's not every day you get people of the caliber of Manic and Lane here to answer your SEO questions. So be sure to post them in the comments while you're while we're live. Um, Yuvin was asking about migration from SCM Rush and other platforms. Um, Fidan already said yes to this, but like, what, what is the process? Is there some way to transfer that data somehow? So the, there, there's a couple approaches to that. One thing you can do is export your data from SEMrush and import. So we do have a lot of bulk importing uh, components in our platform. We also make it really easy if you've got your GBPs all connected to like a master Google business account, we can import all those in for you programmatically and reset up your heat maps or whatever modules you have in there. So you'll, you'll see a lot of bulk importing across the platform so we can service those migrations very quickly. And if you need help with any of those migrations, again, we've got 
great world-class support who can help you guys make those migrations on your accounts. If you're on the pro plan, uh, one of the uh, not so well-known secrets is that our team's happy to help like roll up our sleeves and log into your accounts and help you guys migrate that data over to get you in to the Search Atlas platform. So we try to be really good about that. Yeah, so don't let it be a bottleneck if you've got 60, 100, 200 clients. It's like, man, my team's going to have to you know, pump the brakes for a month to get everything set up over here. Um, they can help kind of figure out ways to, to systematize that, make it easier, take the burden off your team a little bit so that you can get it loaded, you can get it running, you can get the outcomes for your clients quicker. Um, another question here that came in, I think I at least saw it twice, was we know that when we take the, the snippet off the site, those changes go away. What about those GBB posts that might automatically be happening? Um, if you turn it off, those I would imagine those posts remain on Google Business Profile, or do they come off as well? That's a great question. So any data that you push to the Google Business Profile that's already on it will be retained. It'll all stick. The cloud sites as well, any link building that you perform, uh, by default will all stick. It's not going to come down unless you decide you want to remove it. If you decide to go in and delete, 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 you know, you can delete them by, by default. That's not like all that content will, will be retained there. Let it stay. Yeah. I figure once it's out there, it's out there and, and, and leave it in, leave it in place. Um, yeah. Do you have a, do you have time to stick around for a few more questions or do you have a hard stop? We can keep rolling. Yeah. I got okay. Time. Cause there's, there's a couple here that stuck through the whole thing. You know, Sebastian, hey, I'm really glad I stay on live. Carl, they're wondering like, what's the best way now that I've signed up to get this off the ground and start implementing this on behalf of my clients. Uh, I think the way Sebastian's worded is I need a one, two, three action step when I get a new client, you know, to, to push this out and make it productive. Totally. So we, we have a auto getting started guide that breaks down the exact installation steps you need to take. Uh, what I would do is just give that guide to your director of SEO, whoever is the lead on your team and uh, show them that file. Uh, it's actually a web page. Sorry, it's on our website. All they have to do is follow the installation instructions. It's quite simple. Adding the pixel takes, you know, 20, 30 seconds for a web developer. Um, adding it inside Search Atlas takes a minute. Um, and then follow the instructions about completing the knowledge graph. It's very, very simple. Uh, and then follow the, the kind of go through the auto project from top to bottom, uh, enabling the recommendations. And that's really all your team has to do. I'm also putting out videos and that walk you through kind of the best practices for your team, how to think about uh, what makes a good title tag, what makes a good meta description, using auto, demoing the tool, giving your team kind of the best practice utilization of this technology. So uh, I would just start there with that web page. And once you guys activate, you guys are going to be enrolled in a nurture sequence that's going to walk you through the, you know, the ABCs, the Surge Atlas, the platform, and all that video content. Uh, so that's probably the best way to get going. And if your VA team ever gets stuck or not sure where to go next or anything like that, we have that real-time onboarding support for you. So super, super easy to make sure you guys have a successful launch with Search Atlas. Um, we're very easy to get a hold of. So you can always message someone in support right here. They'll get back to you usually within, you know, typically replies in under six minutes. We're pretty prompt there. And then we've got real-time onboarding inside Kumo Space. Um, that link is on the homepage. So you just go to the homepage. And there's a green button that'll appear here. Just click join meeting and it'll fire up Kumo space where you're going to find kind of a cute little virtual world, which is our search Atlas virtual headquarters. And there'll be someone in there to greet you um, and help you or your team. Uh, make sure you guys are having success with search. Just Atlas. Walk right into the virtual office of uh, search Atlas and have a conversation with the developers. Exactly. So that's pretty cool. You'll see four people right here eating some donuts uh, waiting to be poked uh, and nudged to be onboarded. Here comes Laura. Hey, Laura. One thing I might add too is, um, you know, uh, to that question, you might even already have the the client in, in your system as a prospect because I would highly recommend that you actually use Search Atlas while they're still a prospect and run the website audit feature. So, you know, oh we, yeah, can we talk about using this as a sales prospect conversion yeah, tool? Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, let's because, get into that because I think a couple of people are already going to be in it. your system because you're using it for prospecting, and all you need to do is add an auto and just you know, just it goes to phase two. So yeah, Monic, let me totally. So um, so what Lane's referring to, there's a couple audits in, in Search Atlas that are really effective 
for closing new business, for closing new, new clients. Uh, this on-page audit tool is awesome. It will give them a full holistic SEO assessment for their website, starting with their content score. So that's basically their use of that NLP data. Um, it also looks at their domain authority and how many uh, links they have to their, to their landing page. So you can also look at their authority metrics. It'll look at their PSI for the UX metrics and the technical issues that are on the page. So you can see for this client, they've got a big content gap. Uber's ranking number one for this keyword. Um, you can see some other pages are, are on the first page, um, ranking better with better content scores. This, this client's got a huge opportunity to improve the NLP data that they're using. Uh, and this kind of gives them a full breakdown of all the deficiencies with the page. And it can be exported into a Google Doc. Uh, and it's on your own white label domain, right? So it's... Exactly. And it's on your white label domain. So you can take this report, share the public URL. And when you set up your white label and you'll just send this to the client and it'll be, you know, dashboard.youragency.com. And yeah. you give this to the client and they're able to see uh, their, their on-page audit. Uh, the other great tool for that is the local SEO showdown. Uh, you can take this and share this with the customer to show them their local rankings and you know, pick a keyword that they're not ranking very well for. So for this example, I would probably have sent them Italian food, share this with them, public URL, also gonna be white labeled as well, and uh, can be sent to the client as a, an audit to show them their performance. It's a lot so of different can, auditing. You can send this like as a prospect tool and create a video around it. You can use it as part of your sales process, which we do, like we'll run this in advance. And they're looking at us like, hey, I need you to help me generate more leads and sales. And we're, we're able to show them, look, this is why the site's not ranking. This is what we would change. These are some of our clients and where they're coming up today. So kind of use this as part of that sales process. You can also use it as a re-engagement tool. So you met with the prospect. They were interested. They said they're you know, ready to rock and roll, but you don't have the credit card yet. You send them the link to this. Is, hey, we ran the audit. We're getting ready to run with this. We found some issues that are preventing you from ranking. Let's jump on. Let me walk through this with you, show you what's going on, and discuss next steps. It's a reason to get back on the call. And, and it kind of solves that logic gap between, yeah, I want to hire these guys. I think they can work. And like logically, they've got a plan that they're going to execute to get the result. Exactly. The other tool you can use is our site auditor, which basically analyzes the entire domain for really every different technical SEO problem that's under the sun. Which auto uh, one of the cool fix. Things, which auto is going to fix. So that's... The cool thing is you show them the audit report of all the issues, then you install auto and auto automatically fixes all these problems. So it's one and done. Super good. Any other questions? Lane, thanks for hopping on and kind of adding some cool insights here. Um, Manic, this has been amazing. I know this is going to be a game changer for the community. Um, anything else? Uh, maybe bring up the, the link to register again real quick in case somebody needs it. If you want the free trial, go to sevenfigureagency.com slash search atlas. Um, I would recommend tapping into the discount. Like, like Manic said, that's basically now. That's not like into perpetuity for Seven Figure Agency members. So this is like a take action now, get in and on, on auto early. Um, and that you need to hit the QR code uh, to, to get to that particular link and um, get that, that discount. Exactly. Yeah, we, we're, you're not going to see a discount on search atlas uh, you're not going to see it happen. We don't really run those, but this is a special situation, as you guys can tell. Uh, we really do care deeply about the 7FA community. I've been to the last two intensives. I'll be at the next one. So I'm not a stranger. I'm easy to get a hold of. Uh, and when I see you at the next intensive, please don't be a stranger. Come say hi. We'd love to meet you, learn about your agency, hear about your experience with Search Atlas and Auto. So good. All right. I think we've answered all the questions. I think we've made the case for you know, why this is a next level platform you should be tapping into to level up your SEO results for clients. Um, Manic, Lane, excited to see you guys at the intensive in a couple of weeks. Um, we'll get the recording published for, for everybody. If you have any follow-up questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me or uh, Manic directly. And um, it's look, like m at searchatlas.com is the best email for it. You've been said signing up right now. Amazing. Um, excited to see you guys reduce your costs, improve your efficiency. More importantly, 
Like this is a tool that, that has an infinite return on investment, right? Because your main deliverable is to generate leads and sales for your clients. And if you can't get your clients ranked and you can't generate the results, you're going to have a revolving door. And while I'm a big fan of all the things we can do experientially, all the things we can do to improve client retention by you know, sending gifts and having a great onboarding experience, the bottom line is your results are the biggest driver of retention. And so you leverage this tool, generate better results, and that's going to reduce churn. It's going to improve your retention. It's going to improve your reputation in the industry. It's going to drive more repeat and referral business. Uh, and so for all of those reasons, I really feel like this is a no-brainer. So we will, we will wrap it there. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Excited to see you guys implement this. Panic, Lane, team, I'm excited to see you guys in a couple of weeks. Looking forward to it, Josh. Thank you. Great to Thanks, see everyone. Everybody. Take care.